Hey, welcome to Oxide Bites. In this episode, we're going to take a small bite out of a really large topic, which is why can smart glasses help people who are visually impaired? Now, smart glasses are a pretty simple device, really. It has a camera, it has a computer, and it has a display. And the idea is that you put it right in front of your eye and you're only seeing what the camera is producing. Sometimes it could be see-through, like Oxide Crystal. Sometimes it could be completely opaque, so you're only looking at the display, such as Oxide's Prism. All those really rely on one main thing, which is that we're trying to boost what a person can see based on uh, their understanding of what objects look like. If your eye is, uh, has got some sensitivity issues and a lot of the data isn't coming through, but your brain is really uh, you know, sort of trying to look for details in the environment, what we really do and what smart glasses are really great at is being able to enhance uh, and um, control certain aspects of the visual world. So one simple one, um, a lot of people have find a problem going from a light environment to a dark environment or vice versa. What we can do with smart glasses in the really simplest way is just maintain the brightness. So it doesn't take you 20 minutes in order to adjust to that. You can see the world straight away and it's just you know, usable and it's just like everything else. Now another really simple way in which we can help people is the process called field expansion. If you've got a very small field of view, say five degrees in the middle, like some severe tunnel vision, the problem is that you aren't able to see the entirety of an object. So you may be able to see a part of a person's face or part of your phone or part of a TV. What we can do with certain aspects of smart glasses is take a wider camera image and shrink it down. And that's really easy to do in a simple system like Oxide Crystal or Oxide Prism, where we can take that large image, shrink it down, and then when you want, you can orient yourself by seeing a much larger uh, field of view. And some people have commented how you can use that in things like um, a dinner party or maybe a boardroom or a, or a meeting when there's lots of people. Or instead of having to focus just on one person at a time and move around, you can take a press a button, zoom right out, and get a nice big overview of everyone there, see who's talking, and then maybe zoom in on them. So there's one other really good way in which we can use smart glasses to help people who are visually impaired, and that's about playing around with the actual the elements within an image. You can think about visual impairment as the as an inability to really see a lot of contrast, you know, foreground from background and things like that. So with our computer algorithms, what we can do is we can find those edges and highlight the boundary of an object, or we can increase the contrast. So the shadows around a face or the eyebrows or mouth can become really stark, strong visual stimuli that can often cut through a lot of the, um, a lot of the, the vagueness that's in vision once you start to lose it. So one really nice thing about smart glass is that it puts that control about how you want to manipulate your image into your own hand. And with our Oxide systems, we do have a nice simple control where you can zoom in, zoom out, you can change some of the contrast, you can change the modes. So it, it's really about enabling the individual to be able to use their remaining sight in the ways that they would like. 